this reservoir right here and uh so it's completely empty so i'm gonna be filling that hopefully i got enough fluid uh, uh, all i have is this so hopefully one of these is enough what's in here uh so it's a quart um i don't know maybe it'll be enough maybe it won't but at least get me started so for the brake lines that's what i got there i deleted abs the two rears right here so those go right in there be focusing on that so on the sides on these two sides you got your passenger and your driver's side yeah the other two hit the uh reservoir right here so got that and then i shouldn't have to remove the wheels because these wheels you can pretty much get in there and i do have so i got this clear tube in here now, i don't have anyone here with me to bleed these so pretty much you need a clear tube uh, i forgot the size and then you need a uh like a pepsi bottle like a two liter or something like that just to uh just to bleed these by yourself So pretty much I couldn't do it with the wheel on. I had to take it off because I couldn't reach the uh, the back uh, bleeder screw. So you want to start from the back and then do the front. So bleed this one, close it, and then bleed this one. Um, I was always taught to do the brakes from the back furthest to the front. Some people say follow the, uh, the manual. And I think some people were saying RSX was front to back or something like that so you do passenger side rear driver side rear passenger side um front and then driver side so let's do that and uh get back to you guys all right so <clears throat> brakes are done pretty much took me like 45 minutes not including like me having to go to walmart get more brake fluid but yeah it took me like 45 minutes to do this by myself so the bottle trick with the uh the little hose clear hose worked so, got the back wheels back on. Everything's pretty much all set. Brake-wise, I didn't see any leaks either in the uh, the uh, ABS like delete cut here. So yeah, take your time when you're doing this. You know, start from the back, work your way to the front, and make sure you guys keep checking the uh, the reservoir. Make sure you guys keep filling that up. I must have filled that up like 20 times while I was doing this. So maybe more than that. So uh, yeah. Everything's good now. Uh, I still got to deal with that check engine light, but I'll deal with that tomorrow. Day two. All right, so got a couple things I was going to ship out. Was my that wiper cover? So this piece right here, there's two of them. And in my other video, I showed you guys how to remove these without breaking these clips, which I actually broke. So I was trying to show you guys how to not break those. So I broke one there. And one there but it's no biggie i'll uh buy some good glue and glue that back on there that uh it's actually they sell at home depot i think i seen that at walmart it's like a two-part glue and it's like an epoxy or something i don't know it's just like cement glue so it's not crazy glue or anything like that it's better than that it's like holds like i don't know a bunch of pounds like it's just rated differently than super glue so uh yeah just gotta glue them on just like these are so yeah, what I did was pull it instead of sliding it upward. See how these clips right here, they slide in. Yeah, all I did was I pulled this off instead of sliding it off. So I broke that one and that one. But anyways, I could fix that afterwards. I'm actually gonna be shipping these out and getting them um, hydro dipped. So since I redid, you know, pretty much did redid the whole um, engine bay and stuff. So I might as well just do finishing touches on it and send these out to get done. Only one thing though, I got this one scratch or a little dent or something right here. So I don't know if there's something they could do about it so it doesn't look bad when they do it, but I mean, it doesn't look too bad. So yeah, I'm gonna ship that out. So I'm gonna package these. And I also gotta get these these little clips here. I gotta get, I'm, I, I don't want them 
to lose them over there. So I think I'm going to take those out. since I filmed and uh, uh let me fix that camera yeah it's pretty nice outside um I think it's been two days since I filmed so I pretty much got the uh everything ready to ship I got everything ready to go out got uh all the clips got all those off and uh got this off as well so I'm gonna ship that out today and head over to the garage and go work on the car some more and hopefully we could get the uh the wheels back on the front one and i could turn on the car and drive it and make sure the um the brakes are good so i think that's all i'm gonna have time for today i think it's to probably check the brake maybe bleed them bleed them again if i have to oh, i was gonna clean up the garage as well so uh maybe i'll just take some footage of the car you know maybe i'll, I'll do another like um like a little show off type video type thing so yeah so first go to the post office mail that out and then we're gonna um head over there to the garage So we're here. Oh my God, it's freezing outside. There's the car. Forgot. So pretty much I got the brakes done. I bled them. I'm gonna put the wheels back on and see if everything's good. See if there's any leaks or anything. I didn't see any leaks when I checked it before I left last time. I had to go pick up my daughter from school, but um, pretty much I did this side so i did the, uh, yeah i did everything that was this was a couple days ago so trying to remember where i left off but um good news i got i just heard back from the guy that was making my um my intake and he's gonna be shipping it out today so hopefully i get that in maybe early next week i would say oh another thing i need to do is pick up the mess man that's another thing like if you're gonna be working on your car you gotta be somewhat organized you do not want to be like me Yeah, let's turn this thing on. <clears throat> Make sure everything's out the way. Run something over. Right. Hey, maybe the check engine light mysteriously goes away. Okay, uh, order everything. Key in here? Oh, yeah. Show you guys my uh, K2 shifter. 
<laughs> I'm playing. I had bought this um, back in the day before, I think it was before uh, k Toon came out with theirs. Yeah, I think it was before that. Yeah, it was. Because I'm pretty sure if I saw the K2 one, I would have bought it. But I forgot the company who made this one. I don't think they make them anymore. But it was back then when Buddy Club and, like, I think some other uh, another company was making short shifters. And all you do is you use this, your stock um, RSX, uh, you know, box. And then all you do is, you know, take out your, uh, your stock, uh, um, I don't know what you want to call these. Whatever this is. So you take this out and then you just throw in theirs and then you just lube it up like the little ball at the bottom and that was it this was actually my favorite like mod and actually they're probably one of the first ones to do this like adjustable it's got these allen keys right here it's got one there one there you adjust the height there and then over here you can adjust the throw like the length so yeah man this, this one's pretty nice i never had issue with it and it's been i think it's been like six years maybe seven this was probably one of my first mods i forgot to mention that so yeah i never had issues with it i love it it still works perfect i never had any issues so yeah this thing has never failed me but i do want to get the k2 one but this thing has never been an issue it does it does have some play but i mean it's nothing serious pretty sure my idol's off too like really high and yeah that's the real mileage on this car 62 it's like a christmas tree in here the airbag light i usually do that paper clip trick and that thing goes away that always comes back every time i i don't know every time i like the car shuts off like completely like to take out the battery it comes right back on so I gotta go to Acura to clear that off. And then ABS, obviously, that's gonna be on. I think I could turn that light off though. And then chuck engine light is for the VTEC solenoid. So, yeah, the door's open. I don't have my seatbelt on. And that light's gonna be blinking constantly now because the guy who I had had do the uh, K tuner uh, right there, he didn't use my my original um uh ecu he ended up using one of his and i wanted him to use my original so it wouldn't blink like that but uh, it's too late now so um yeah I, I was pretty mad about that i really don't want that light on but whatever nothing i could do now so i think what i could do one day if i do change this up here i could take that out it probably isn't too hard and i could just unhook that that light so I don't know, we'll see. And I could probably unhook the uh, ABS one too. Like, just take out the little light bulb. So it doesn't bother me anymore. Whatever. So brakes are good, they're not bad, pretty good. Um, I do have to check for like fuel leaks, see if there's any of that. Um, especially down there, on the bottom, that's where I, uh, you know, I, I uh, extended the uh, fuel line to bring it to the fuel rail. So I gotta check for leaks there, cause I wanna be safe, you know. I'm gonna probably uh, torque everything again in my suspension, probably on the bottom, I'm gonna torque everything, make sure everything is good, as well as up here, on the header, the, uh, you know, the manifold, I'm gonna make sure, you know, just make sure everything is torqued, I'm gonna double check everything. Um, yeah, but as far as the car goes, I mean, it seems fine, it's running like it used to, it's just idling a little high, I think it's because of the, uh, I don't have the, uh, 
the cold air intake yet. So once I get that, I'll make sure you know I'll, I'll check everything. But there's the uh, exhaust. Pretty nice. I like it. It's not too loud. So yeah, small update. I think now I'm just gonna turn this off and just clean this garage up. Oh,